free applications to get you started in content creation or on your YouTube career. Hey, what's going on everyone? Hope you're doing all right. My name is Matt and this is Wire Creatives. I wanna go over some free programs and applications that you can use to get started in your content creation or YouTube career. Now, all of these will have a free version, but they also will have probably a subscription or add-on that you can use to get more additional features. Now, the first one I'm going to mention is CapCut. If you're on TikTok, you've probably seen the templates that you can go into the CapCut app, but they also do offer a desktop version if you want to really dive into the editing. If you are getting started, I think this is a really good place to kind of get a little taste of what it is to cut videos together, maybe add a few different effects. After you do that for a little bit, check out the premium maybe for a month and see if that's something that you really need for your process. The next software I'm going to mention is DaVinci Resolve. This is definitely a more professional editing program. I think that if you're just starting, it may seem overwhelming. It does have a steep learning curve, but just give it some time. What I would recommend if you're looking into it, definitely go check out other YouTube videos where they do simplified tutorials. And then once you find the features you like, take a deep dive into it. After you spend some time on it, it definitely gets easier. For me, I came over from Adobe Premiere and After Effects. Even after the transition, it was, still was hard getting straight into DaVinci. Now the current version is 19 and they do offer this for free. You can go to the Blackmagic website and download it gets majority of the features out there, but for those premium features, you will have to buy the full version, which I believe is $300, but it is only a one-time fee, I believe, to get all of their features. For me, I haven't gotten there yet. I probably will later this year. If you are looking for a free editing program opposed to a subscription base like Adobe Premiere and After Effects, if you follow this channel for a little bit, this is something that I've said quite a few times. I believe that you can have a bad video and great audio and people will watch it, opposed to having great video and bad audio, those clippings and just, if the audio is trash, I'm not gonna watch it. And I think most of the people would go ahead and just swipe on. One way to get clean audio would be to use Adobe's Podcast Enhancer. I think you can only use it for certain size files and at a certain point, you will hit a limit and you can't really edit it or go into it and really sound design with it. But for the free version, it works pretty well. I've used it for my two minute videos all the way up to like 15, 20 minutes and haven't had any, any issues. And it definitely has helped remove sounds out of the background. Maybe useful for you, so definitely check it out. And of course, if you want the full version, you will have to subscribe to it, but that will allow you to use a lot more audio. And then of course, you're able to tweak it more because you're paying for that premium. Now, the last thing I'm gonna mention, you probably have already heard about it, is Canva. I use this all the time, especially in the marketing side, uh, creating emails and graphics there, creating flyers and those graphics, creating carousels for Instagram, or even for like YouTube and creating their thumbnails, or maybe you need a cover. Canva's gonna be your all-in-one program for graphic design. Now, yeah, there are other programs where you can go a lot more in depth, and it does have its little nuances, how to get things set up and to just sit just right. But I think if you're just getting into it, this is the easiest way, especially if you go into their premium subscription. You can go into their premium templates and really pick and choose what you want to create exactly what you see in your head. And for me, it's been really helpful. It's one of those easier graphic design style programs. And this would be like comparable to Photoshop and Illustrator where you definitely will need to know a lot more to get what you want. But saying that those other programs, again, Photoshop and like Illustrator, you will be able to do exactly what you want in those. It's one of those things. I think Canva for a lot of us, especially if you're doing just quick little things here and there is where you should look at. The last thing I'm gonna mention isn't really gonna be like a free program. It's gonna be more like a free trial and then you have to buy the subscription to it. And that's gonna be finding some way to license music to help elevate your videos. I do think that this is something that is overlooked and really important. Now, if you're just making like TikToks and stuff, it's not a big deal, but once you get to YouTube, or you're creating content for other companies, you really need to look at the licensing. You don't wanna run into any legal problems down the road. Just wanna make sure that you're covered. So that's why I heavily suggest licensing the music that you use. But you have a few different options out there. And for me, I've used definitely a few different sites and I've been really happy with all of them. I'm currently using Epidemic Sound. 
I think they offer a two week trial up to maybe a month, depending on where you look. Definitely check them out. I'm gonna wrap this up here. So quick little recap, you have CapCut. If you're really just getting into it and they do offer a desktop version, it's not just a phone app. Then you have DaVinci Resolve, your more professional editing program, especially if you know DaVinci Resolve, they're known for their color grading. I'm still learning a lot of that process, but it is definitely something that I think would be worth looking into, especially the fact that they have it all for free for a majority of that product. Now, the next thing is going to be Adobe Podcast Enhancer. It's going to be a quick and easy way to enhance your audio. Then it's going to be, of course, Canva for your graphic design needs. And then the last thing was just looking for somewhere you can license your music. My recommendation currently is Epidemic Sound. All right. So I guess that's going to be it. Let me know down in the comment section if you have any questions or comments about any of these softwares. If you are looking for a tutorial on something specific and you can't find one, let me know. I have been using some of these softwares for quite a while now. Yeah. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.